Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another spirit message and tip. I was going to save this for the weekly, but it ended up to be so long that I'm doing a separate spirit message and tip. And that's what I frequently do. If it's too long for a reading, I do it separately. And that's why I call it a spirit message tip. So this is how to shield and protect your energy. And with adding many more layers of love, how to shield and protect your energy with adding many more layers of love. So this card actually shields yourself came out in a recent reading on the channel and so this came through afterwards and so I want to share it because this just blew my mind and not only that but it genuinely helped me it helped me to see it helped me to activate it <laughs> we talk about wonder twin powers activate but how to realistically shield and protect your energy and they showed me with adding many more layers of love so we had this card in this message and people like to talk about bubbles and things like that but this was phrased a little differently and that's why I wanted to uh, share it with you and it really helped me to see, to see clearly in my life on how I was not shielding or protecting myself. And when I mean myself, I mean shielding and protecting my energy. So I'm sharing it here, how you can walk step by step with many more layers of love, protection, positivity, optimism, trust, and more. And we always got trust, 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 trust is like a mantra um, that this could really elevate. If you just say trust, 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 it could really elevate some feelings that are being kicked up in you. But anyway, you can see what may have penetrated that shield and how to get rid of it or fix that or even how to just put up another layer and keep going forward. So what does this even mean? I'm going to break it all down and I'm going to put it in the description box also. What does this even mean? It just became and become so clear what I'm saying or what I'm going to say, and you're gonna start seeing this everywhere. And then you're gonna be equipped on what to do and how to do it. So you're shielding and protecting your energy. So here are some examples. Do you realize, this is what I was getting, do you realize that people, companies, everyone around you, they're first giving you a feeling, a seed of a feeling. And in the next sentence, they're selling the remedy. So whether it's their book, their class, their product, they're first selling you first the anxiety, the depression, the fear, the inadequacy in some way, and then they're selling the thing they make money on to remedy it. It's a ride, right? It's like an energy ride. Do you re realize when people just seem, everyone seems so loud, so invasive, they're invading your emails, your space, they want your eyes, they want your ears, they want your attention, they're all screaming for attention, they want your time, they want your energy. It's a ride, it's an energy ride, right? Life already is a crazy ride. You don't need more things to get on and ride, ride, ride. Get off the rides people put you on. Get some peace, hear your own thoughts, connect to yourself and the divine, claim back your positive powers, and walk on with adding some more layers. So this is what I was personally guided to do, and I'm gonna get into more detail of what they mean. I was guided to unsubscribe to many that invade my emails. Some people, they email me like daily to sell stuff to me. I was guided to clear out my home, my surroundings, work, and personal. I was guided to clear out people and situations. It can feel like the floodlights come on and you're seeing things much more clearly. The ride itself, the energy ride. You can get off the ride to walk on with more layers. When you walk this way, get used to walking this way with a shield of many layers. It's like, walk, you know when they talk about, you see a picture like Archangel Michael with a shield. Picture you have a shield, but it's built of many layers. You can more easily decipher if something hits that, what it's trying to penetrate. How is it trying to affect you in the moment? It's not what they say, but the energy behind it. It's very clear, but undetected, it's very effective too. Did they just hit you with a ride of negativity, a, a ride of fear, a fear of fearing the unknown, a ride that you need this or them? The rides can be endless. The energy coming at you can be endless. It can be depleting, discouraging, and just down, down, down you go. You're already divinely connected. You are already equipped with the answers. You already know the way that is right for you. You need encouragement, love, support all along the way. And to do it with many layers of love, optimism, and trust all around you to walk powerfully even through the unknown at times towards better. So shield and protect your energy. Pay attention to how something feels and feel the undercurrents of energy trying to pull you in and to what end, to what end. When you feel this and you will know, you will sense it, you will get out much sooner. Walk on with even more layers of love, optimism, and trust. 
add another layer after every time you have felt like you've been hit with something. It should feel like you have a shield made up of many layers. We keep on saying many layers of love, optimism, and trust. And then add on another layer of love, trust, hope, another layer, love, trust, optimism. Keep adding layers so that the shield in effect becomes almost like a large bubble. You know how people talk about a large bubble. This is how to shield and protect your energy and walk on in your life with many layers. Shields built this way with many layers are much harder to penetrate. What's your shield made of? They were asking me this question and I'm asking you, what's your shield made of? I answered, mine has a layer of divine love, a layer of trust, a layer of optimism, a layer of hope, a layer of power, a layer of protection, a layer of connection, a layer of positivity. Maybe I'll go back to another layer of love. <laughs> How are you constructing your shield and protection? Do you examine the holes if something penetrates? You will feel it and can meld it. And you can also just add a layer whenever you need it. Like if somebody penetrated a layer, just add another layer. Think of it as layers. Your shield is a layer. So this is expanding and building and growing your shield with many layers for protection of your energy. And then ask yourself, how do you feel now? You're gonna feel different. You will feel different knowing you're shielding and protecting your energy with many layers. Not only do you feel protected, but you are there when you feel something penetrate and know what to do. Just add another layer for yourself. Do you need to add another layer of trust? Another layer of hope, love? Another layer of protection? Another layer of hope? Another layer of optimism? Like what just got hit? and you're, you just add another layer of what you need. You will feel you're living differently when you're shielding and protecting your energy with many layers. You're gonna feel, you will feel more love, peace, calm, serenity, trust, optimism, hope, and yes, more love again. It's layers and layers of all that around you, just as it should be, just as it should be. And that gave me chills. It's layers and layers of all that around you, just as it should be, layers of love, peace, calm, serenity, trust, optimism, hope, and yes, more love again. It's layers and layers of all of that around you, just as it should be. So it's how to shield and protect your energy. You can feel the difference. This is all about shield yourself. This is Archangel Metatron. And he's and the message is all about how our sensitivity is increasing. Absolutely, everything is increasing around us. So it's more pivotal to actually shield and protect your energy. And you can with adding many more layers adding many more layers as you go. So I wanted to pass this on because I found this so helpful. And not only that, but everything just becomes so clear in how you can be there for yourself and more effectively shield and protect your energy with adding many more layers. And I loved how they phrased that because I could almost visually sense and see many more layers. And it made me more equipped when I could feel the undercurrent of what hit me, just add another layer. What did that, what did that hit feel like? It affected my level of trust add a layer of trust. Did it affect my level of uh, my energy of optimism? Add another layer of optimism, right? So your fields of energy. So this is how to shield and protect your energy as we're going through everything. As they say, they want us to walk with love, support, encouragement. And a lot of us, if we're putting one foot in front of the other, to do it with more love, support, encouragement, trust, positivity, and all of that. And how do you shield and protect that as you make your steps? So this was how to shield and protect your energy with adding many more layers of love. Take care. Bye-bye.